All right, so we got the injectors out. Uh, we're gonna take an inspection camera and look down into each cup and see if there's any staining where combustion basically would have gotten by this copper crush o-ring here and blow back up, wind up cooking this o-ring here and then getting directly into the fuel supply system, which is where that those pulses of pressure get back through to blow up that balloon. So looking at each one of these, we don't see too much soot, you know, basically up in this region, we'd be seeing the kind of same kind of soot over time developing that's, you know, exposed to the combustion down here on the tip. So we'd see this region looking a lot more like that. And then uh, essentially we'd be looking for any of that soot to have gone past this O-ring, which would probably disintegrate or burn up this O-ring and then basically get back into these, uh, the, through these fuel screens, kind of discoloring them. But these all look pretty good. So we're gonna verify everything at the cups and then we're going to pressure test these injectors. Uh, this is kind of a crude setup, but just something that we have since we were seeing so much fuel get by. We're just gonna look and see if these injectors normally closed are gonna allow any shop air through at about 120 PSI. Um, you know, if, if fuel's freely drained down into that cylinder, the fuel, low pressure fuel before uh, the uh, high pressure oil boosts it up is only coming in and uh, supplied to these ports at about 55 PSI. And so, um, you know, if it's going one way, it should be able to blow the other and air's a smaller molecule. So we'll try to blow the shop air through and see if we see any bubbles coming out the supply screen. So let's see if the test these uh, guys ability to seat right normally closed see it.